What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Sure. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans this and shits. Sort this problem out for me, H and I will H get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. Think <laughs> I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. So, Lester has hacked into the FIB uh, database for, like, possible employers. I'm not employers, employees that are good covers in this case. All right. Janitor. And how's that going to get us in? 
Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? Here we are. Let's wait for him. Something's coming. That's not it. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, because it is known that if you had to do something very questionable at the behest of the government... That's it? They will eventually kill you. This is not the car we're looking for. I mentioned the film um, American Made with Tom Cruise. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. They used them and they eventually had them killed off. But they tried to make it as if it wasn't directly involved. Here we go. Nope. Oh, guess not. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So we got a trail about arousing suspicion. It's a tail. This much distance is a little reckless for my taste. Close in. You got it. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. <laughs> you want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. The guy isn't an FIB super agent. Maybe close up this gap some. You want to drive? I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate.
Two quick turns and we'll be screwed. Get closer to him. Noted. Turning left up ahead. Hey, buddy. Hey, man, what's up? Damn, did you We're following him right towards the park. Hi there. Hi there. Hello, Hello there. He's going to have a day. Our headphones have been seen there. Hit our miss. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Got it. Well, ain't it just a small world? Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. He'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Yeah. Yep, hey, you right want here. the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. <laughs> Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. He's already here. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking hates. 
Of course it's Steve fucking Hayne. It's always Steve Hayne. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent, I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. This one in the story mode, you can you're forced to pay the impound fee to get your car off. But when it comes to GTA Online, this, this is interesting. You don't have to pay the impound fee, so I can just spring in there and break in there into the police station impound lot and steal the car without having to pay the policy $250. Thank you. 
Hold on a sec, there's a guy coming. I think this is yours. Stay on the show. Hey, what? But... <clears throat> oh, hey. 
I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. <laughs> I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> so will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, uh... I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job. Cause I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We we'll get... Tracy on the way. Man, Tracy, on the other hand, wife. she's a star. <laughs> sort of. Oh dear. Now I got to, then I also gotta take care of last one. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Yeah, well, this is a four door. This is perfect. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No. I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... It's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. Well, let's kick their asses. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Baby. There's something called Michael? headphones, okay? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time. Nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what, what are you ah, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? Yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. <laughs> Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. 
Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. Oh, I'll pick up Tracy beautiful. and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. Oh. Okay, All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Yeah, whatever you say. Yeah, let's go beat Laszlo's ass. This is the what? first time in the GTA Tracy's getting another Laszlo. tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey. Let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important yeah, first, first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I'm rushing the knee to his nuts. Here's the tattoo shop. Hey, where are we hanging out? Good. 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 Them always has I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh, whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, uh, just not my junk, okay? I I'm already scarred down there. Ugh. Ah, you fucking prick! Jesus! Ow! Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's daddy number two gonna th think about this? Ah! Let's not get him involved. Ah! Let's do... Uh, that, that's, a, that's a clean needle, right? I don't need more hep C. <laughs> mm. Ah, you butcher! Look, are you gonna tell me what you're drawing, or, or is it a surprise? It's a surprise. Uh, just so you know, I've got a beachwear photo shoot next week. Uh, you creep. No, don't! Uh, this Will you just call out? Uh, uh, don't move! Uh, Now hold it. This is gonna make my man tits look enormous. <laughs> oh, this, this controller, man. Please don't put a gang symbol on me. <laughs> that would be a bad idea. You move, and I will knock you in the next week. Please don't tattoo a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Uh. 
You really don't want me to slip. I had to switch to mm. mouse. I said I needed security! Ugh. How about I draw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? <laughs> ah. oh, there we go. Oh. Nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too oh, fast. Oh, oh, ah. ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. What are you doing? Cut ah. a douche. Take that, you douche. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without ass. sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. You're dead. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We had to get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy? <laughs> My pony. How do I look? <laughs> it's not like good, shit, is it? As always. Who knew you through. could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on! No! It's me. Not yeah, quite. Because no Trevor probably would have killed him. Oh, it is you. Who at least dangle him off a balcony or off a building and kill him. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey! This was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally, like Fabian, around the head with the laptop. Oh yeah, like pow. Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine battery. Yeah, to be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee! I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest kind of good. Bad dad! Bad dad! Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> Do it, dad! Yeah! Do, Do it! it! Do, Do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Michael, kids, BS. let's go inside. Okay. Let's go see Dr. Friedman. Friedman. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. 
<laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. But... Great. I think we made some real progress there. All they did is just yell and invent each other out. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. So six thousand hey. dollars. So it's fifteen. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids. So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demand? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. Oh, no. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women.
anti-social behavior. And the other person on the motorcycle is getting knocked off. Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? <laughs> Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna order the shit out of room service. Cause this gotta be substantial. It's gotta be substantial. Plus a hell of a tip. Out of it. And tips charges the bill. Speaking of Trevor. Last one standing. Again. Yep. Better take care of this mess.
play hot potato. Hot potato. <laughs> you better run. Citizens report you never catch me. I need this bag. I'll check it out. Hold on. Oh yeah, I crashed the boat over there. FIB raid is going to be done in Cop Trevor because my phone truck are obviously not talking to each other after the last incident. Where he gave him over to be killed by a Chinese <gasps> senior in the triads. And, uh, yeah, the triads. Yep, I lost. split it into one.
Well, I'll be fucked. Have a swim. <laughs> Look at that. You cocksucker! Oh, bring it, motherfucker! Sure. What we're gonna bring it? Did you oh. lose a very big bet?
All in your face. What? Get your hand out of my pocket. <laughs> the intellectual thug. The intellectual thug is victorious. 
The intellectual thug is victorious. Uh -huh. So I'm moving on with Franklin. I'm trying to get the plans. Tell me this shit is. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. This guy! Anyone know this guy? Freeze hey, excuse me. Doctor. You're not meant to be here. STD. <laughs> That's a joke. Let's find that guy and take the plans. Where did he go? It's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Hey! 
Stop! Man, running from me is a bad idea! Have a good one, sir. Je ne sais quoi. Man, fuck this shit. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could 
hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Yeah, Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. Mm -hmm. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running in... Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? Absolutely. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. And he can. Okay. He doesn't have brains as much as he has balls. Much like Michael, more frankly. Somebody grab a getaway vehicle. So just do some high spread and then we'll be able to But we if I do the high spread Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. Stuck. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. Fine, I'll call someone who can help. You'll be fine. Yeah, like who? You know, size might not matter now, but in the end times, oh yeah. After the big one, that's when I'll get the 
Look at you two together. What a lovely fucking couple. It's unsuitable. Damn. Oh, electric car. It's unsuitable. Huh. Me. Whoa, shit. I guess we can use that now. Let's use this then. This will be perfect. This has four doors. This will be perfect. So I want to mark it. Okay, so can use. Yep, this is perfect. Hey, Les, that getaway car is parked where we need it. All right, give me the location. Marietta Heights. Good work. Call me when the rest of the prep's taken care of, okay?
See you later, Sally. Tracking device on her car. What abs? Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant this thing, is and it is all thanks to right you here. and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! <laughs> Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. <laughs> I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> Now we gotta catch Molly. He's about to take off. Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. 
She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. <laughs> Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Attention to the first unit. Requesting a VIP escort for the Destination is the East Hangar at Los Santos International. What's she up to? What's she doing? Ms. Schultz, please calm down. We're here to escort you to the hangar. You're telling me she's gone crazy. You want to take a plane full of tourists with you? Oh!
goes. That man's a murderer! He wants to kill me! Oh, I just want the On the floor, lady! Outside. On the Don't fucking me. floor! Fuck no. Witness, okay? She's the one behind this. I got what I came for. I'm leaving. Trespassing. That's the most. you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's, it's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Come on! Bye-bye. There goes the play. Look at that.
sorry. Get a light. drink after that. Daddy's back, bitches! <laughs> Apparently it's at the table. Tell me about your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, are you ready to talk about him yet? Obviously that question is for me. I mean, all your friendships don't even last a night. At least I'm getting some. Has everyone finished? Jimmy's never finished. He's like a black hole that only works on junk food. Ugh. Finished? What? I need, like, at least another couple minutes of digesting time. And that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto 5 on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Dust Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And do me a favor. If you like the content I'm bringing you, please do me a solid and follow, share, like, comment, and subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Dust Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for more Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto 5. 
Sleeping Dogs, Mad Max, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and many more. And if you'd like to contribute to the channel and support me, I do have a Patreon listed in the description below. I would greatly appreciate that as well. Until then, I'm Kill the Vid for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And please, stay safe.